In my heart of hearts, I truly believe that music can be a powerful weapon for change, social, political. At times, being a musician with, in a music industry, working as a musician, and having done that for the last 13 years of my life, it's easy to lose track of that, to lose track of one's true intentions as a musician or as an artist or the power that one really has beyond like making the monthly bills or getting your song on the radio and ultimately as an artist I don't think that's the stuff that's really important I don't think that's the stuff that will feed you that will keep you alive for the next 30 40 years I think the stuff that will keep you alive is the stuff of making a difference making an impact looking in someone's eyes and feeling that you understand each other without necessarily needing to say too many words. And I think music truly does have that power and this program has reinvigorated that belief in me. And I feel very inspired to go home with that knowledge and that thought and to kind of continue on the path that I'm on and to keep striving towards making the world a little bit of a better place. I don't necessarily believe that we can change the world completely, but I think that as individuals we can change our communities, we can change our immediate environments, and if we all believe that, then we can change the world. I'm working on a project in collaboration with Found Sound Nation and One Beat. Um, it's called Here Be Dragons. It's about connecting youth in cities through their sonic experience of their urban environments. Um, we all today spend a lot of time kind of plugged into devices that somehow prevent us from communicating with one another and really seeing the world around us. And my idea is to use these everyday devices to get kids to look around them, to listen, to think about what their city sounds like and then also think about what their city sounds like in relation to someone else's city and find the common and then also the unknown and experience someone else's city through their ears. And One Beat has really opened this project up in a whole lot of new ways for me because I now have 17 different countries that I could potentially take this work to and work in collaboration with One Beat and One Beat Fellows and grow this sonic map of the world through kids' eyes and ears. What do you think is the value of connecting kids in this way or connecting youth from various cities? I think that majority of kids, majority of people live a very limited existence and don't really think about what might be beyond the borders of their country, their city, even their neighborhood. And I think it's really kind of mind-blowing to experience that. And a lot of people will never have the opportunity to actually go somewhere else. But through this project, you can provide them with an experience of what somewhere else is like. And I think that's very valuable for growing an informed, engaged, world society. Mm.